Today, Kevin and I are going to be trying the new Kroger Carbmaster Low Fat Cottage Cheese. Sylvia told me about these because I would never have even looked in the cottage cheese. I don't think about them coming out with new flavors of cottage cheese. I don't like cottage cheese. Uh, so thank you, Sylvia. She contacted me through Instagram. That's always a good way to get a hold of me. Uh, these were a dollar each at Kroger. I have the strawberry rhubarb peach. And uh, we got cinnamon raisin and apple cinnamon. Figured we would just try them all at once. And I have a little secret to tell you about me. I've never had plain cottage cheese in my life. You've had it mixed with stuff. I've had it mixed with things. For example, I've made pistachio salad. There's Can't a, taste the cottage There's either. a recipe for that on YouTube. Um, and it's delicious. It's a dessert. And then I have tried the dessert that I make with the three ingredients. I do regular cottage cheese and pudding and whipped cream. And it's just delicious. I love it. But I've never had regular cottage cheese. So I'm actually very, very scared. Hmm, hmm. Very scared to do this, but like I'm going coffee. to. So we'll see how this turns out. Hey, they're all 110 calories except for the cinnamon raisin, which is 120. For the whole thing? For the whole container. Oh, that's good. Yeah. And these are 5.65 uh, ounces or 160 gram uh, per container. So that's a, that's a good... Uh, That'd be a good thing to take for lunch. Oh yeah, a good a side item or a snack item. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is the strawberry rhubarb. It has 5 grams of sugars, 15 grams of protein, and it says lactose free. They're all that. That's what the hell is okay. Like. So. It makes you wonder how you can get loaf, a cottage cheese, which is a milk product, and it's lactose. They've taken the lactose out of it. Okay, so this is strawberry rhubarb, so it has a pinkish uh, tint to it. Stir it up a little bit. Okay. It smells good. Yeah, that's what I mean. I, the reason that I want to try these with Kevin is because I'm wondering if these are going to remind me a little bit of the dessert that Maybe. I make. Okay. Go ahead. Dig in. So it has, like I said, a pinkish tint. It kind of matches the shirt I'm wearing. It does. kind of looks like the same color. I'm double dipping. Hmm. It's not bad. It does have a little bit of that sour cottage cheese flavor, but you definitely taste the strawberry. I think that's good. Not sure about the rhubarb. I've never really liked a lot with rhubarb in it, so it's not must not be a really strong part of that. Does it make your mouth a little dry? Yeah, I could see where you say that. Yeah. Yeah. Like the roof of your mouth and yeah. I like it though. It's it's got um, good flavor. It has the texture of regular cottage cheese that I've had in other desserts. Uh, and it has a really nice strawberry mm -hmm. flavor. Um, and it's not too sour? I could, no, it's I could good. eat that. I could definitely eat that. And only 110 calories. Yeah. I like that a lot. Night, yeah. 100 calorie nighttime snack. Yeah, that's nice. Now I'm worried about this one because I know you all have heard me say it before. Um, I eat peaches out of the can and heavy syrup. <laughs> and not I'm, fresh peaches. Not fresh peaches. I Ooh, see some hunks of peaches I do. In there. I see a hunk so of peach. So get a hunk of peach. Oh, with a couple of them. Oh, there. wow. I'm glad I stirred it. Yeah, that's what I always do. So, something settled to the bottom. Okay, so there's a peach right there for you, too. I like that, too. But if you're like me and you like peaches out of the can, this tastes like natural peaches. This yeah, tastes like fresh peaches. Yeah, this tastes like you went to the produce department and you got a peach and you cut it up and you put it in your cottage cheese. That's like what that it. tastes like. I think that one's good too. I like it. It's not as sweet as a strawberry one, but it is good. It has that little bit of bitter from the peach because it is for, like a fresh peach. I think that that actually covers the cottage cheese up a little bit more too. Like you don't get that sourness from the cottage cheese at all. Whereas the strawberry one, you did a little bit. So it's Plain cottage cheese sour? A little bit. It's got like a like a yogurty kind of. I was gonna ask you. Yeah, is it kind like... of. Not really, but okay. Right, this one is the cinnamon raisin, which is the 120 calorie one, and it um, it looks a little darker, like it's got cinnamon in it, and it does have raisins in it. It has raisins. Whereas up until a few years ago, Tammy wouldn't have eaten a raisin if it, if her life depended upon it. And now that I've gotten older, my tastes have changed. And now I eat raisins. No. You know what? I'm wondering, uh, of course, I was going to say they could put nuts in here, but then it would add the calories. Anytime you add nuts to something, it adds calories. I dropped them on the floor. On the floor? Yep. <laughs> mm. 
Any time that I just clean, somebody just do something. the floor, somebody drops something. Usually him. <laughs> That's, That's really good. Uh, I had too big a bite. That it's is, right there. It's a raisin. At least you missed your shirt. Because yeah, the floor is easier to clean than your shirt. <laughs> that is the best one That's yet. really good. That is delicious. Really good cinnamon flavor. Mm -hmm. You get the raisins. I mean, that's that's good. And there's there's quite a few raisins in there. You get a raisin every bite of that. If and you it tastes. It cinnamon. reminds me, honestly, of a cinnamon raisin cookie. It yeah, has that I could see cookie. That. I think it's really good. It is good. Some people get put off by the chunkiness of cottage cheese. Yeah, I don't think Ashley would ever touch this no. because of the, because of the looks of it. But if you're, you know, you might this might be better for you since it has a color to it, yep. a tint to it. And it's uh, it doesn't really taste like kaju. Sorry, I'm getting kaju everywhere. On me, on that'll me. teach you to take too big of a bite That's on it. It looked really good. All right, this one is the apple cinnamon, which is the one I was looking forward to the most. Really? And then it's the whitest. It is the whitest. It doesn't have, it just looks like cottage cheese and it's also really thick. Okay. It's not quite as runny as the other. You would think with it having cinnamon and this one having uh, cinnamon that it would oh, have a little a little brown in it, mm, but it doesn't have- You can smell the apple though, smell that. Oh yeah, but it doesn't have any brown in it at all. I swear I see a hunk of apple right there. Yeah, I didn't see as many when I was stirring it up, but. That one's really not for me. No, this one tastes more like cottage cheese. <laughs> oh, well, there you go then. <laughs> it has a little bit of that sweet tartness of an apple, but... It's kind of sour. It needed more cinnamon. Yeah. It needs a lot more cinnamon, actually. Because the cinnamon, it should have changed colors. It shouldn't if, be just a white. If they put the same amount of cinnamon in that one as they did the cinnamon then raisin, would it would have been good. Mm -hmm. Because you get the tartness of the apple, but it's not enough to overcome that cottage cheese flavor. Right. Now, you can always add your own. If you oh, yeah. if you want to buy the apple, uh, then of course you can buy your own. Let me but um, <laughs> you could, um, you know, all, that's always an option. But we're just trying it the way it comes and letting you know how we yeah. feel. You know, people always say, oh, you can add this and that. And that's true, but we just want to give you our opinion of things as they come, as they were intended by the uh, manufacturer. So, what is your favorite? The cinnamon raisin. Uh, the cinnamon raisin is my favorite too, and then strawberry, mm -hmm. and then peach, and yep. then apple. I, I agree. Exactly the same? Mm -hmm. Yeah, the peach and strawberry are almost interchangeable, but the strawberry edges out just a little bit. Yeah, it really does. And like I said, I'm not a fresh peach kind of person. That's true. So I, I really like the yeah. strawberry. But yeah, the if you want to try one, the cinnamon raisin is excellent. And it does really have raisins in it and lots of cinnamon. Mm -hmm. So um, I that's will- the most highest calorie. It's the highest calorie. Of course I'm gonna pick- <laughs> That's only 120. I so. picked the highest calorie or the most expensive. That's just my life. Um, I will take a picture for you of, of these and have it at the end. And thanks for watching.